In this example, I will show you how to perform dynamic analysis in Minitab, Taguchi Robust Parameter Dynamic Analysis. We've been using these same uh, problems for all the Taguchi experiments, um, the tire manufacturing process. So we want to optimize the parameters for these tires. Now we have three internal variables, thread per square inch, rubber type, and tire construction. And then we have uh, two external variables, humidity and temperature, and one signal factor, which is the power input by the cyclist. So in all of these factors, we have two level each. Uh, now to show you the data, so this is the data file. So let's copy this data to uh, Minitab and then run the analysis. So let's copy it in Minitab run the analysis, dynamic analysis. So go to STAT, DOE, and Taguchi, analyze, then select the factors. So the three internal factors. I have a signal factor, which is in column S. And then I have the response is in Ys. And then leave everything as it is. So this is the dynamic analysis. Now for the visualization, this looks very small. So I have um, copied them in the um, in the PowerPoint and make kind of bigger. So in the dynamic analysis, you get this table called signal to noise um, signal to noise ratio. You get the same also for the static analysis. And then in dynamic analysis, you get another table, this one, which is the slope tables. For static, you get the mean table. So let me explain again the signal to noise ratio table. So basically signal in this case, the mean tire life and noise is the standard deviation. Now this table was created based on the uh, nominal is the best or some comparing with some type of target values. Now if you want to know how to calculate signal to noise ratio, check the video that explain how to calculate signal to noise ratio. There are three methods you can use. Um, all details are in there. If you are interested in how these numbers, what formulas goes behind the scene, it's very simple uh, to calculate these um, numbers. Now to explain the signal to noise ratio. So if I have more mean tire life compared to the standard deviation, that means it's better. So I have high signal, meaning that high tire life compared to the low variation. So signal to noise ratio high means it's better. So in this case, I can see that if I use the uh, thread per square inch um, for the factor A, level 2 thread per square inch, then I get a better noise to signal ratio. And also for the variable B, if I use the level 2. Now remember Taguchi uses level um, 1, 2, whereas the, where the um, uh, factorial arrangement uses, um, so in factorial arrangement this is uh, minus 1 and this is plus one. This is how, how I have created the data in Excel and also copied in Minitab and run the all, on, all analysis based on that. However, Taguzi de define it one, two, something like that. Uh, kind of exact same. Um, I kept it minus one, plus one, so that you can see the connection between the factorial and the Taguchi. They're exact same thing. It's just a different analysis for Taguchi. So you can see that if we use the high level of thread per square inch, you get better response compared to the craziness or standard deviation, same for this. So all of these, level two of A, um, level two is better for B also, level two is better uh, for C also, level two has a better um, signal to noise uh, ratio. Now remember the difference seven, these are in log scale. If you are interested in how this number came, this number were calculated from a log equation. So in log scale, seven is huge. So you get a huge benefit of using the rubber type two compared to rubber type one. Uh, 
So this discussion goes to both uh, static and dynamic analysis. And I think this table uh, provides the main uh, decision uh, making um, power than the other table, which is the second table, this one, the slope table. Same for the static analysis. It will give you mean table. And I think the signal to noise is the main decision making table. So let's go explain this slope table, which is uh, for the dynamic analysis. Now Taguchi views that the signal factor, in this case the cyclist power, has a linear proportional relationship. So y is the tire life, has the linear proportionship with the x, which is the uh, cyclist power. So if I take that proportional sign, I get y equal mx. As you know, this m is the slope. Now this slope, we can write y m equal to y by x. So basically the one unit increase of x, how much the um, y increases or decreases. So in this case, if you remember, the signal factor had two levels with uh, minus one and then plus one. Now, assume that the um, minus one related to uh, 200 watts. So we are testing 200 watt cyclist power and high power. We have set pro cyclist power about 400 watts. Now in 200 and 400 watts, as you can see, um, so this is the, ex the, the explanation for slope is if one unit of x increases, how much y increases. Now you can see minus 1 to plus 1 is actually two units. So if I set 0 here, so minus 1, 0, and then plus 1. So that number would be 300 in the middle. So one unit increase of the signal factor in this case, if I set up this variable like that, will be actually 100 watt increase. So if I increase the 100, if I increase the cyclist power by 100 watt, then on this case, the power, this tire life decreases by 102. So tire life decreases by 102. On the if I if I make the tire using high thread per square inch, then if I increase the cyclist power by 100 watt, then the tire life decreases by um, 75 and half. So you can explain all of these variable like that. So any combination method, you know, either you use the low level of or high level. If the cyclist power increases, the tire life decreases. Um, you can think of something like somebody's braking, uh, somebody's pressing their gas pedal too hard, um, so they're going to be wasting more gas. Somebody brakes the car too hard, then they will be burning more uh, brake pedals, brake brake pads. So, same for the the cyclist power example. If somebody is running with very high power, the tires probably will wear more. Um, so just simple fact. So in this case, so you can see that the more power means less tire life. And it doesn't matter which combination you make, the difference is not really that big. So you can see the difference in this case only about 20. So if you increase by power about 100 watts, uh, the difference you get by using the uh, rubber type 2, you get only 20 miles more life. So uh, not really a huge uh, number compared to 4,000 miles uh, tire life or something like that. Now on on the other hand, 100 watt is huge for cyclists, you know, but it's a huge power. 100 watt increase would be a huge increase. So doesn't matter which recipe, which level of factor A or factor B or factor C use, it all kind of wires more if somebody produce more powers. So if you remember why I said that the uh, this table that is signal to noise table, actually the main decision making table. So you are looking for something where you get a better response and then less noise. So this ratio higher means 
higher signal with less noise. So this would be the main deciding criteria. Now in this case they're not contradicting. So if you make the tire with um, both level 2 for all of these uh, variables then actually it, it has a better um, uh, signal factor response as well. So uh, there are less um, tire wires uh, in this um, second level of um, these variables. So I hope this explains the dynamic analysis in Taguchi.